everyone, I'm here today to do a book review on Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. I received this book from the publisher HarperCollins, so thank you so much for sending this to me. They also sent me an advanced copy to read before the book came out, um, and then they sent me a finished copy, so that was so nice of them. Thank you. This is my first Maureen Johnson book that I've read, and I've always heard about her books and how great of a writer she is, so I was really excited for this one especially because it's kind of a mystery thriller book and I love those. This book follows our main character Stevie. She is attending this famous boarding school in Vermont. It's up in the mountains, kind of completely isolated, very difficult to get to, and it's also very difficult to get in. It's this special school that was started by Albert Ellingham, early 1900s. His goal was to create a school around the idea that learning is a game. He was very much into riddles and labyrinths and all that kind of stuff. He was a a very wealthy man he always had parties so he founded this really elaborate boarding school in 1936 his wife and daughter were kidnapped and the only clue left behind was a riddle written by someone that signed their name as truly devious so this has been kind of like a famous unsolved case in American history in this book so Stevie our main character in the present tense she is going to attend this school and she wants to solve this cold case she loves true crime and he kind of wants to be like a detective and crime solver and knows all about this school and Albert Ellingham and this famous crime. She starts at this school and of course meets some really interesting characters, some that have already been at the school for a year and some that are also new. And then some crazy things start happening with Stevie and her friends. It turns into a very mysterious and fun read. It's the kind of book that switches back and forth between the present tense and the past tense. So we are also um, getting a look into the past with Albert Ellingham and when he ran the school and what happened with his daughter and wife and that investigation. So I really enjoyed both tenses. I felt that the present and the past were both equally interesting and I enjoyed this book. I gave it a four out of five stars. There's a tagline on the front of the book by John Green and I think it describes it perfectly. He said that this book is intricately plotted, compulsively readable and I totally agree. I think that's the perfect way to describe this book. With the two uh, tenses, it's very intricate but also extremely fascinating and I when I was reading this book I didn't want to put it down one day I read almost 200 pages in a day I haven't done that in so so long so it was really nice to be able to just be totally gripped and engrossed by a book the characters were good but I wouldn't say I fell in love with the characters I felt like they didn't have a ton of depth to the characters However, that didn't really bother me because I was more interested in the school and the atmosphere and the plot of the story. And while the characters were believable, I didn't like totally connect to them, but they were kind of like, you know, pawns in a game and characters in the story. So I don't know if that was totally the point of the story was to fall in love with the characters, but I wouldn't say character development was a really high point of the story. So if you love books that have really strong characters, may not be the book for you, but I also didn't think it was done poorly. Our main character, Stevie, I could kind of connect to her on some levels because she loves like true crime and lately I've been listening to a lot of true crime podcasts and she listens to those as well. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, she also does have anxiety, so that does add another layer to her character and make her, you know, more relatable and realistic. And I thought that was a good addition to the story. <laughs> One of the biggest reasons why I didn't give this book a higher rating was the end and I don't Want to give any spoilers away basically you have the murder from the past and something crazy happens in the present tense as well and i felt like we didn't get enough closure in the end and there will be two more books this is the first book in a trilogy so that's really good although it's going to be a while for the next book to come out so i'm kind of like maybe i'll forget some stuff by the time i get around to the next book which is unfortunate and i just felt like we just didn't get enough answers in the end there's so many things were building up so many plot lines and mysteries and I don't know just so much was building up throughout this book that I felt like I don't know I just felt a little unsatisfied with the ending I mean it shows that I really I really enjoyed and cared about the book and the plot and everything that I'm like dying to know what's gonna happen next but then at the same time I felt like we could have gotten a little more closure but still had a significant cliffhanger. <laughs> if you are interested in reading this book maybe wait till a little closer to when the second book comes out so that you're not left 
frustrated. I think those are like all of my non-spoiler thoughts. Like I can't think of anything else to say without spoiling the book or giving away any part of the mystery, but characters are really fun. There's a lot of really interesting kind of relationships that formed and a lot of different personalities in this book. It was just a really good time. If you like mystery books, this is a good one and I just cannot wait for the next book. This book did come out January 16th, so it is already out if you want to grab a copy and read it. Thank you so, so much for watching this review. I hope you enjoyed. If you've read this book yet, please let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if you have any theories about the explanation and answers to these mysteries and questions that they left us with, um, let me know in the comments. Just, you know, put that there are spoilers in your comments to warn everyone who may be reading the comments. But I would love to know your thoughts and theory and that we can talk about it in the comments. I will see y'all soon. Bye.